Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at Doming Toys, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends series figure Firestar from comic books, or most notably the old 80s cartoon show Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Gorgeous, gorgeous box art on this, provided by the one and only David Nakayama. Please do check out his work on his Instagram and Twitter and whatnot, but it carries over onto the back of the packaging. Nice little bio, so to speak, for Firestar. Angelica Jones soars through the battle, harnessing power, microwaves, yada yada. She's Firestar, baby, and she looks great. This is a online fan channel exclusive figure. And like I said, if you're not familiar, most notably we'll say this particular Firestar, even though we kind of get a comic book look for her as well, is from the old 80s cartoon show, Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, which sees basically Bobby Drake's Iceman with green eyes team up with Firestar and Spider-Man, and they do things, and they go on adventures, and they fight all the Marvel villains, and yada yada. They did show up recently in one of the Spider-Verse, into the spider you know, whatever have you, comic books, where they were killed. That's nice. It wasn't them. It's like an alternate reality version of them, but God almighty. Anyways, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Firestar by Hasbro. Seriously though, Nakayama, you're knocking it out of the park, Nakayama. And just before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Doming Toys. They sent this over to me to provide this fresh look for you guys. They are an overseas company. They deal with a lot of new toys. Sometimes they even get them first. You can grab Firestar. You can get the new Silver Surfer Black. You don't have to go to Walgreens. You can just kind of order it from there. Lots of Transformers, McFarlane toys, what have you. Don't got to go the Marvel Legends route. You can just grab them from them. I, they ship fast. They ship easy. Very easy to work with. Highly recommend them. Their links are in my description below. Also, check them out on Instagram and you won't go wrong. And of course, here is Angelica Jones all out of the packaging. Comes with several flame accessories, extra hands, Ms. Lion, and two head portraits. This one being my favorite for obvious reasons. But I really appreciate that they kind of keep with the whole Spider-Man is Amazing Friends theme, especially the little cardboard backdrop that makes up the packaging. Their superhero 70s, 80s apartment and everything flips over, like the couch becomes like this control mech. It's wild. It's it's totally like secret superhero kind of stuff. Corny, but fun. But she looks great as well. And the accessories are nicely done. So I would say this is more semi-traditional, traditional-ish comic book head. Nice red, nice wash in the hair just to kind of make it dark a little bit. Little bits of paint here and there. You get these two effects. If I'm not mistaken, these look like the ones that originally came with the Scarlet Witch and then several other figures in that time frame. Ms. Lion, her dog from the cartoon show, is the best accessory. Let's just be honest right there. I'm glad they included this. It's wild. It's like the shark that from the Deadpool line that just most recently has a little bit of articulation in the head. I'm glad it's just not like a stagnant figure. They put something on it. It does something. That's the, all I could really hope for, for the dog. You know what I mean? And then she comes with a pair of hands. One's fisted. One's open. You can do the whole powers. Hands we've seen before for a body type that we have seen uh, many times. However, it works for this figure. It works for this character. And I do like the way she looks. Very bright yellow. Reds. Some little orange on the tinge of her boots and her gloves. So they're all painted nicely. It's applied nicely. Really no qualms. I like the little collar of her uniform as well, if you want to call it that. You can see the difference between the heads. Again, one being more comic booky, the other one being purely animated show. But I like that they put the extra highlights in her hair. The head on this one will be hindered by the longer hair in the back. It, okay, it, it's all right. It doesn't matter. And the articulation is really what you've seen a billion times from this particular female body mold. So double jointed knees, single jointed elbows. It works for this character, but she does put the effects on. She holds them nicely. 
wrap them around, get them secure. I'm just gonna kind of put them on just to kind of show you. You can do them every which way. You could put them, they're kind of shooting off her hands. Maybe a fireball, that would be cool. See, yeah, just make sure they're attached securely. They do stay on proper. If you really want to switch the heads out, just give a little tug right there. As you can see, it's a ball joint. And you can put this head on as well, which does work better with the neck articulation because her hair is flowing. I like the little fringes on her mask too on this one. So you really can't go wrong. You could do cartoon, you could do comic, but the hair on the cartoon one is really stylized and it's very cool to see they went that extra mile. You can use the Marvel Legends stand. You can get her flying, outstretched hand, powers of blazing, microwave powers. <laughs> That's, it's just, there's some definite fun to be had with this figure. And it's emphasized in the attention to detail that you can suit either the comic book or the cartoon fan. And again, the fact that they put the dog in there, the... <laughs> <laughs> the dog has some articulation that's great but really where this figure shines is that if you got spider-man you got Iceman. Iceman doesn't have green eyes but whatever do we really want that you can do it yourself they're gonna probably totally make one watch but it completes that old cartoon show and that's cool to finally have that i really appreciate that and if you put them in like the, the backdrop that it comes with the box that's just equally as cool. Watch, watch them do like a three pack. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't mind it, to be honest with you, but you already have it. You know what I mean? And you pose them, get them all battle ready, whatever they're going to do. Fight Dr. Doom or the Sandman, <laughs> Green Goblin. Everyone goes home happy at the end of the day. And the fact that, again, the dog is in there is fantastic. Ms. Lion is a male dog, by the way, and I didn't know that. <laughs> I had to look it up myself. Here is the original Firestar from Toy Biz. It was a Toy Fair mail away exclusive with this new Firestar. And yeah, you can see it's a, you know, it's a welcome update. They've done three and three quarter inch Firestar, the three pack of Spider-Man Amazing Friends, quote unquote. You could go on wild with them. Have all kinds of Iceman, Spider-Mans with this Firestar. It's great. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at this brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends Firestar figure. A very cool figure, if I do say so's myself. In all honesty, I would really appreciate a 90s looking Firestar to go with my Maximum Carnage shelf. That would be great, because then what? You're, we're kind of just missing Nightwatch, who we could use a figure of as well. And then Carry On and Shriek from old Team Carnage. This is fantastic. This is what I want to see. You put Spider-Man, you put Iceman, and you put Firestar together, and you got one Amazing Friends setup. It's classic, it's old school, and it's really fun to have all three of these characters with Ms. Lion on your shelf. Pull out Sandman, Doctor Doom, Green Goblin, Shocker, any of these. And you could totally have fun and have them battling on your shelf if you really wanted to. They're all on the show. Do some reach. Watch the show on Disney Plus, too. You can definitely check it out. And again, thank you to Doming Toys for sending Firestar over to give you guys this fresh look. I do highly recommend them. They're great to deal with. New toys, sometimes they get them in early, so definitely do check them out, especially certain store exclusives, right? Silver Surfer, if you want to grab them. And I'm curious to know what you guys think of this Firestar. Do you have her? Do you need to get her now? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man and his amazing friends. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you got friends like these, well, then I think you're doing pretty well in life. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.